peace of mind With the city so cold in the winter time In my mind, stuck in my mind It gets dark, it gets dark inside Trying to find some peace of mind With the city so cold in the winter time In my mind, stuck in my mind It gets dark all right, all right, all right. How you guys doing? All you Earth mom, Earth mommies and Earth daddies. This is your boy Midnight. I'm back in California, um, and I'm excited to make this video because um, I got a new deck, uh, the Gothic Oracle deck. Um, I literally just got this the other day, and I'm excited because I'm gonna try it out. We can do it on this video. Um, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I have no idea what it's gonna be. I don't know what topic it's gonna be about. We're just gonna pull it, and then we'll see. We'll see uh, what comes out. Um, I always ask for divine protection, um, clear messages from source. I always ask for uh, love and light, you know, from um, all the guardians and ancestors, you know, and any any viewer that's watching my video. I send you love and light, man. You feel me? Um, because that's what I'm about, bro. You know, I'm about. I'm about progression and moving into a, a, a sector, sector of a sector of energy that um, that's not popular with uh, society. You know what I mean? But I believe it has, it has. I have my purpose, so I'm gonna continue to do. I'm gonna continue to be who I am and, and to, to to give you guys the messages and the knowledge that you that you seek. And I'm gonna continue to be of service. You know. Because this is what this is this is what um this is this is one of the callings that got in my life, man. You know, I'm here to give you guidance, man. I'm like your I'm like your I'm like your guide, you feel me? It's like right when you step into life, man, I'm here to guide you, bro, to the right direction because everyone else wants to guide you to the wrong direction. Everybody wants to see you fall off the cliff, bro. Not me, man. I wanna see you on top of the cliff. You feel me? There's a difference. So we're gonna start out with this uh Gothic Oracle deck and we'll see what comes out. Um we're just gonna do a quick cut on these and I don't want this video to be like too crazy I just kind of I just kind of wanted to test out these cards and this the, the thing about this this deck is it's it's not a lot of cards you know it's not a lot of cards it's only 48 48 cards so let's just see what comes out with this energy we'll pull we'll those do one for now and we'll see what this is <laughs> Why is it gotta be this card? All right, I already saw this card. This is the one at the bottom of the deck, right when I opened it. Angel Rose. Oh my gosh. All right, this is only the first card, but um, I'm gonna tell you what I feel about this. Okay, man. Honestly, when, when I look at this card, I, I, what I feel honestly is, I feel like this is, if this is you, there's still hope, never give up, you know. With Angel Rose, what I pick up from this first card is somebody that's fallen from grace, you know. Um, the darkness, the darkness around this, um, fallen angel I, i'm gonna say it's a fallen angel the darkness around this fallen angel and the reason why i say it's a fallen angel is just because when i look at this picture she's dressed in all black you know but when you look really look at this this image you see how she's holding that rose and that's really the only color that's that's um that's 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 in a picture so what that tells me is that this this fallen angel this person um fell from grace and this love that um this love that this fallen angel has is the only thing it's the only thing that's uh, uh keeping her from from falling completely down to the depths of darkness and deception you know um i need to pull more on this let's see what else comes out from this deck because it's a brand new deck i just that's funny though, because right when I opened the deck, that was the one on the bottom, and it's just kind of crazy how I see that now. Um, damn, Angel Rose. Let's move this over. Okay, um... 
next card is Fierce Loyalty. Fantasy Forest. Eternal Bond. Moonstone. I'm gonna need a second to look at these cards because Damn, okay. With this fallen angel, um, everything everything in the in this in this in this in this person's life is 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 full of darkness and it's full of uh, chaos and deception. Um, and the reason why she's holding the rose so close to her heart is because it's it's, it's really the only good thing in in, in this person's life. Um, and she and, and this person holds it dear dear to them to their soul because everything else around them is 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 negative, dark, chaotic, evil. Um, I really just see like it's the only thing that's in this person's life that actually makes them keep believing in the greater things in life you know what I mean because everything else is dark around this person you know and they hold that to their to their they hold that close to themselves with fierce loyalty and I don't know why I just feel like this person is is a very loyal person. Um, <clears throat> I see the two dragons right there that are right next to her, but you see the look on her face. Um, she has the look of it's kind of like the look like a piercing look. So it's like when you see this person's eyes, when you look when when this person looks into you, like they really literally look into your soul, bro. You know and with the two dragons i feel that i honestly feel like this is the um the 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 spirit the spirit guides the um ancestors around this person um they have they have very strong um they have very strong protection around them and they have a, a sense of loyalty to Whatever they love, they have a fierce loyalty to, you know, um, just with the congregation. I know, um, I think loyalty means a lot to this person and I honestly think that, that they, they wear that on their sleeve, to be honest with you, with the, when I look at this card. Oh, you know what? Actually, now that I look at this card, you see how she has like a band around her head? When I first looked at it, I was thinking that it was a tiara, but it's not a tiara, but it makes me think about a tiara. So, um, it makes me feel like this person has um, royal lineage. Um, whether they know it or not, they have royal, royal um, blood, they have royal, a royal bloodline within them, whether they realize it or not, you know. Um, and then with Fantasy Forest, Damn. I feel like they have a lot of dreams in their life. There's a lot of dreams in their life that um that they have and this this brings me to the, the, the realization of how magical this person is. How much um damn, I mean how much how much potential that they have and how much that they're being carried by spirit through this through this lifetime they're being they're being they're honestly a very powerful being i mean i'm that's where i feel with this um this this card fantasy forest um they have magical abilities and then like i said see it's just like the same look you see how look at how she's looking right at you and the um the the deer is looking right at you this person has the the ability to look right at you and see 
right through your right through everything right through all the uh, the 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 lies cheating and deception they see right through all of it you know they are very powerful very magical that's just what i feel from that and then with eternal bond unicorn two unicorns this makes me feel like with 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 eternal bond this makes me feel like and it's unicorns you can see how it's two unicorns this person is freaking it's a once man honestly i feel like it's like a once in a lifetime type of person you know like you're not going to meet people that are like this person you know this person is is it's a rarity it's a rarity and then with the eternal bond i just feel that i don't know why when i look at this card i think of, i think of twin flame like relationships like uh like that deep that deep um that deep soul tie between um um two two individuals and when i look at this card they're both unicorns you know what i mean they're both unicorns but you see how there's one that's smaller and then there's one that's like fully grown i feel like whether it's i'm not sure if it's this the fallen angel person or not i feel like this person has a a, a, a twin flame you know they have a, they have a, a they have someone else in this lifetime um that they share a total bond with and the reason why I say that is because since there's a big and there's a small unicorn, I feel like that represents the um, spiritual maturity. So I think that these souls, they both have an eternal bond, but one of them is more advanced. You see, you see how one of them is a, is a fully grown um, unicorn, you know, it's, it's, it's an adult unicorn and then there's one that's really small and um still still um learning learning about how to uh, uh, uh live in this life and i feel like that represents that represents the um the soul's growth between both of these individuals one of them is more advanced the other one is is, is still learning it's just barely starting and that's why uh spiritually is still an infant and not um fully awakened to their full potential and then with moonstone i can't help but feel like when i when i look at this card i just feel like there was somebody i don't know why but i just feel like there's a there's an individual in this person's life who has been trying to control them and they're trying to use uh, moon magic on them and the reason why I say that is just because when you look at this dragon rider look at Look at this dragon rider holding a wand and then he has this 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 um, Gem or a stone in her hand and then when you look behind him He has there's a huge moon in the back, you know This just gives me the impression that there's there's somebody trying to control there's someone trying to use moon magic against you and I think it's a dark it's a dark witch that's just what I think when I look at that image let's pull a little bit more and let's see what else comes out from this oh my gosh oh Oh my gosh. Oh wow. Okay. All right. So the next card we got is Medusa. Damn, look at that. The card after that we have Lost Soul. And then the one after that is Light the Darkness. So with this fallen angel, <sighs> that's what I'm talking about. So this fallen angel has so many snakes around them. Um, as you can see in this picture, there's so much darkness around this person. 
It's no wonder that they're they're they became a fallen angel. They became a fallen angel because of all the snakes, all the deception, all the lies. You see all the you see all these snakes, bro? Like they're 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 just wrapped around this lost this 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 fallen angel and they're leading them down a path of destruction and chaos and um darkness you know and it, 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 it honestly it they kind of turned this person into a lost soul so this fallen angel now because of the darkness and everything that they've done in their life all of these snakes, all of these, 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 these entities and Jezebel spirits and um, uh, people of the night, now they are a lost soul. They are lost in life. And with the rose, you see, see, look. So Angel Rose, see how she's holding the rose? It's so dear to this person because of the, that's the only thing in their in their in their life that that means anything is that has that light but in the lost soul the lost soul image you see how she has her she has her hand on her heart and the rose now is on the side on the ground not on the ground but just more to the side and you see how the petal is falling down What that means to me is that this person replaced the only thing in their life that meant anything which was the light in her life and she pushed it to us this person pushed it to the side and decided to guard their heart that's why the hand is over their heart and that's why they're a lost soul because they lost they lost or they're losing the only thing in their life that brought happiness um, around all the chaos and darkness. This is what you need to do. Light the darkness. You see this? This person, this fallen angel hasn't realized that all the darkness that's around them, they need to stand up for themselves and realize how strong that they are because the darkness is so strong around them. They need, they need the light in order to move forward in her life or else, like I said, they're gonna to continue to be lost. Next card we have is Lifeblood. Enchantment. And then Dragon Trainer. So with Lifeblood, I kind of look at this like this is the this is the counterpart the other person you see how you see how how this person is dressed in all white you see how this person has the scythe with the blood on on it and you also see all the uh, skeletons in the background with roses on them what that tells me is that 
counterpart of this person is a very powerful person. Um, they have already defeated and dismantled so many demons of darkness and angels of darkness that it's just their fucking their freaking calling you know this is what they do this is how powerful the counterpart is they've already they've already destroyed and dismantled uh, uh many demons many many dark entities and they will continue to do that because that is their calling in this life with enchantment I feel like this lost soul they were tempted they were tempted by the these these snakes and these darkness and these demons um they tempted them with some type of offer um i think when they were given this offer they didn't realize the magnitude of this decision and I honestly feel like they were they were tricked and they chose incorrectly. With Dragon Trainer. I feel like this energy right here is the counterpart. They're training. counterpart is training and they're training they have the capacity and the the knowledge and the know-how on training on training people to become fully in their in their in their light in their power they, and they and they take baby baby souls and they create powerful beings See what else comes out. We got Dragon Beauty, Valor, Trick or Treat. So with Dragon Beauty, I just feel like it goes back to the Dragon Trainer, um, Dragon Trainer card. Um, you know what? Now that I look at this, maybe the the lost, the the fallen angel needs training. Actually, now that I look at it, maybe they need training. They need to learn how to grow spiritually and how to become a powerful being. And then with Dragon Beauty, I think they need to realize that it's a process and the pain and the, the struggle, it's, it's beautiful because that's what makes you grow into a very strong being in, a, in an adult sized dragon. Someone that's courageous and someone that's um, powerful and then with valor I feel like you need to look at the strength that you have within yourself you are a warrior did you know that you are a very powerful being you're very powerful This honestly, when I look at this, this kind of does give me the uh, a feeling of like Queen of Swords. Like, we ain't taking nothing. We ain't taking no nothing, bro. You know, if that ain't, if it ain't, if it ain't true, that's not, that's not, that's not getting past this point right here. Trick or treat is the last card.
Halloween. Everybody wears costumes, so this fallen angel, not knowing the beauty of the struggle and not knowing that they have strength and valor on their side, but they hide behind masks, so they they rarely show their true strength and who they are as a person. Let's pull one card for the for the lost soul. So what's let's do conclusion. What should the lost what should this person do to to get their full strength and to to break away from all these snakes in the darkness and to become who they're supposed to be? What what do they need? What does the fallen angel need to break free from this darkness and become the, str the strongest version of themselves? This one wanted to come out. I got women holding a coin. Then I also got strategy. In the bottom, I got attachment. Oh, broken heart, wow. Broken heart, okay, let's take these. A woman holding a coin. I think this person valued money and material possessions above everything else. I'm not saying that they're greedy, but I just feel like they held like status, money, wealth above a lot of things in their life. Strategy. They need to, you need to strategize about your life and your choices that you are making. You see how there's a key on the keyhole right there? You have the key to your life. You have the choice to pick what you want in your life. You just need to, you just need to uh, have a strategy on how to uh, make it happen and how to make it work. But with attachment, like I said, you gotta take the mask off. You see how she's taking a mask? That she's holding a mask. You need to take the mask off and detach from all of the snakes that are around you, because they're bringing you down. They're bringing you down and you will continue to be a lost soul. Remember, light the darkness. You're very powerful. You gotta detach from all the negativity, all the darkness, get away from all the fear. You gotta take off the mask and you gotta be who you really are. Instead of being this character, this fake individual, like I said, wearing wearing costumes detach from it because you're attached to darkness right now and that's the reason why you're unfulfilled in your life and why you lost lost or you're losing the only thing in your life that means anything all the, the darkness and deception and everything, this is, you're losing the light. And that's why you feel lost and broken right now. It's because of all of the snakes that are around you. So, what should the fallen angel do in conclusion? What should the fallen angel do? Flow saver entice. Open yourself to romance. Oh my gosh. Your heart is closed off. You need to open your heart. That's what it is. Let's clarify this real fast. Can we clarify romance? What is this? Is their heart broken? I, I feel like their heart is closed off. It's 
probably because of all the darkness around them. Oop, that one flew out. Six of Swords. So, moving from turbulence to calm, long journey, travel, recovery from illness or near death, how many restored would help? Clarify Six of Swords and Romance. Oop. Yeah, that one fell out automatically. Death. Wow. Six of Swords and then Death. So I feel like with the Romance card is that you're you're closed off from love. Um, with the Six of Swords, you need to need to you need to find you need to go to calmer waters. And you need to you need to you need to get away from all of these snakes, this darkness, and this evil that's around you right now. And I don't know why. You see how there's a little person next to them on the in the boat. I just feel like this person you may have, you may have children. You need. You and your children need to go to calmer waters. and need to go to safety. Whatever all of this deception, darkness is, it's just, it's not doing anything for you. And with the death card, this is transformation, ending, change, transition, new beginnings, transformation, renewal, liberation, rebirth, old makes way for new. It's either you have to get away from all of these, 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 these darkness and these entities, these these snakes that are all around you, go to calmer waters, and you need to change and, and tra transition to a new beginning. And you might be a Scorpio, just with that card. All right, what should we do? What else does? What else does the fallen angel need to do right now? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Two cards. Oh, oh, oh. If you don't go to if you don't go to calmer waters your life's gonna be full of obstacles, lack of foresight, overwhelmed by demands. You need to make this transformation, this change, and go to calmer waters. <laughs> and find your empress, empress or emperor, and find your counterpart. All right, this is it for this reading. The sun's almost down, this is your boy Midnight. Hope you guys enjoyed this read. With Gothic Oracle, um, I send you guys nothing but love and light. I hope you guys have a nice day. I hope this helped you. I hope this made you realize uh, something in your life that you needed to see. Thank you very much, and I, I and I can't wait to make more videos for you. Thank you for everything you've done. Thank you for watching. I'll continue to make more videos for you. Peace.
our private traps, clamped in them, and none of us can ever get out. Sometimes we deliberately step into those traps. Yo, just like I promised, man, I'm about to do the cover to Kaipu Kapua's, uh, before you know it. Let's do this. Just like I said, man, I'm about to redo this. Yeah, yeah it's my jam, bro. California to Hawaii, baby. What's up? How y'all feeling? Ready to do this, baby? We about to do this. Me and you, baby. Let's do this. Ha-ha-ha. <laughs> Tell me what I've been doing to make you insecure Cause every time I walk away it's off to work And truly I know what's gone down in your mind Thinking that I'd be creeping with some other times Girl don't you know Girl, don't you know, I'll wipe away the tears for you Cause you ain't gonna be nobody else, may squeeze, no, no, no And I'm not trying to take the route Even though you wanna scream and shout Me and I believe I'll be back Because I'm in love with you, girl 